Is it working? Ready the bear man? This is a picture of a Commodore Vic 20. Oh, it's one of one of those. Yeah, Michelle always won one of those, and uh, I had one. It is like, oh, uh, with all the accessories, $500, 1983. About the time this album came out uh, by the police, is in Yada Mandata. And I'm using uh, the uh, high speed internet on a slow router. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I just had a brain fart. Okay, back over here. My friend Mike Jacobson in Elgin, Illinois knew a lot about computers and then later I got this Atari 800 XL computer which is a little bit better a lot of bit better than the VIC-20 <clears throat> I created this diode circuit uh, for a modem instead of using the acoustic coupler match two 600 ohm uh, uh, transformers and connected it to the uh, touchstone phone yeah anyway over here again um, this BIOS is locked to, uh, where is it? Okay, it, this is a gateway, about seven weeks old. The hardest project I ever worked on, on any BIOS, was to break into the BIOS on a safe boat. This is a uh, uh, volume license copy of Windows 7. I also have one of XP. And these are both uh, copies that are used for El Paso County, State of Colorado, etc. And it's just funny, uh, reflecting back on this album in the background, and then this computer, and then my phone that is a dual core, 1.7 times 2, which is faster than my VIC-20. <laughs> I joke about it. So yeah, getting into the BIOS uh, was really hard, but it's now on the internet uh, for other machines. I used a Linux Wubi installer to... Uh, uh, run a dual boot, installed uh, Linux, and then the BIOS opened up. But this one took hours and hours. So there you have it, Windows 7. Right now there's no internet, so I have to uh, actually put another wireless card in it. Preferably an Intel. Intels are made here in Colorado Springs. Very beautiful cards. And uh, this actually has an Intel chip in it. Uh, single core, but it seems to work pretty well. And of course, uh, parts. So. I have fun with what I do, but it was actually my friend Mike Jacobson that uh, got me at start. Mike knew a lot more about Apple, and I learned how to put kitty cats into Macs. So basically I just wanted to make a quick video, because I had a busy day. Went to people's homes, worked on computers, talked to the kids, and who'd have thunk it that I'd, you know, be able to talk to so many people in one day.